Today's message from local leaders, we should not be complacent with how far we've come in flattening the curve. They say we still have work to do, and that means continuing to cover our faces. More face masks will be here for us soon, says Monroe County Executive Adam Bello. The county, through its CARES Act funding, has worked with uh, our municipal partners uh, across the county, as well as with uh, leaders in the nonprofit community, particularly through the United Way of Greater Rochester, to, distri to uh, purchase and distribute um, uh, what will end up being over 3 million masks uh, to residents uh, in uh, various nonprofits and governments uh, throughout the county. And with a gradual reopening process pending, doctors warn, we still must practice social distancing and we still need to wear masks. I share the same desire just like everybody else. But in our enthusiasm to rediscover normal, we cannot forget those who we have lost and those who are currently fighting for their lives in our nursing homes and in our hospitals. Congressman Joe Morelli adds in Rochester, we need to continue to work as a team. I think we ought to be prepared because this can happen again, whether it's a resurgence of COVID-19 or a, another virus uh, a pandemic five, 10 years from now. We just have to be better situated as a country to work together to resolve these issues. Officials tell us more information will be coming out on how you can get your hands on some of those masks in the coming days when they say they will announce a distribution plan. In Rochester, Rebecca Fath, News 8. All right, Rebecca, thank you. Monroe